Hello, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. Welcome back to another update. Okay, guys, let's start with something positive. The COVID cases in the Philippines continues to decline. The Philippines reported its lowest, lowest COVID-19 positivity rate since, since ever, like since the testing data became available. So like since last year, guys, this is the lowest. As a positivity rate below 1%, that's likely to happen in the coming days. So it's, it's looking good. The COVID situation in the country is not just good, actually. It's, it's excellent. Excellent. So those who will be here for December, you can expect a relaxed restrictions. You know, um, you can go to the beach. You can do a lot of things for you can enjoy your time while you are here. And good news, we would like to thank the government and the people of the Netherlands. The Netherlands is donating the Philippines 7.5 million doses of J&J &J vaccines. Um, the first trench arrived today, 1.5 million bonga. You know, guys, here in the province, people prefer J&J. &J. When J&J &J was available in our city, tricycle drivers and people even in the mountains were interested were lining up to get vaccinated so these doses po will surely save many lives of filipinos thank you to the government of netherlands po and that uh, guys tomorrow will be an interesting update I, I thought it was gonna happen today you know the update on red list uh yellow list green list diba? you remember um they always update po uh, mga days before the 15th or the 30th i was expecting today pero tomorrow po watch out po i think tomorrow ibibigay na they will give the updates on what countries will be on red list will the same countries stay on red list maglilift na ba yung ban sa um 14 countries so unlikely more likely yung mga african countries will stay there i think while for europe countries um, i think portugal will stay on red list kasi it was just fully implemented today so wala namang uh, december 15 so parang wala namang sense kung one day lang diba Anyways, will they also change quarantine protocol? So, yeah, guys, um, watch out for the update tomorrow. Will they also resume green list protocols? Yeah, the mga bayan in Saudi sa UAE, di ba guys? Green list kayo. Supposed to be wala ng quarantine sa hotel, di ba? Na suspended yung green list protocols. Yung suspension is until December 15. So, malalaman natin tomorrow. I will update you. If mayroong big changes, I will update you immediately. While UK po, watch out po, there is a good chance that UK would be added on the Philippines red list. In fact, Israel bans travel to UK and Denmark over Omicron cases. UK raises their COVID alert as Omicron variant surges. In fact, last Sunday, they recorded 1,239 new variants of new cases of Omicron. This has brought the total number of UK cases of Omicron to 3,000, more than 3,000. I am actually quite surprised why um, ATF hasn't put UK on red list when it was so easy for them to add Italy on red list for having uh, like a few Omicron. But I'm not wishing for UK to be put on red list, guys, ha? Huh? Well, just basing on their metrics so just watch out po if you're coming from the uk and you'll be traveling soon to the philippines uh, uk or even denmark po hopefully hindi masali hopefully wala ng countries na ma red list but uh when it comes to testing po i would like to share this po when it comes to testing po you can avail a um, shorter quarantine they didn't change the quarantine protocols but you can avail shorter quarantine jennifer how well uh, choosing a testing laboratory that will offer early swab tests. So if you are landing in Manila, po, if you're in non-OFW, Balik Bayan, for a national, you have two options. You can either get tested with the Toxicare or PADLA, Philippine Airport Diagnostic Lab. So you will choose this during your res registration in One Health Pass. Which, by the way, if you're interested in how to register, watch this video. Now, for um, testing laboratory, po, you have the option. So they do they... Um, um, do they cost the same thing, Jennifer? Yes, the same thing. They charge 2,500 pesos per person. 
Um, what's the difference? So, the toxic air po usually is used by Philippine Airlines passenger. But even if you're not a Philippine Airlines passenger, kahit Singapore Airlines kayo, Qatar Airways, you can avail, you can avail the toxic air kahit anong airline. So, um, with the toxic air, they offer early swab. So, you can get tested earlier than others. So, isa ka sa mga priority. So, we know that the earlier you get swab, the earlier your result will be released. Then, the earlier kang pwedeng ma-release sa hotel, makalabas sa hotel quarantine. Now, what is this expedite testing, Jennifer? Early swab testing with the toxic air. So, if for example, if you're vaccinated, um, fifth day testing, you will be swabbed between 12 a.m., to 4 a.m. Okay? Yun yung early swab. Yung normal schedule is 6 a.m. and beyond. So, meaning po, um, 12 a.m. pa lang, pwedeng maswab ka na. So, results will be released same day. So, if you're tested on 5th day through expedite testing with detoxicare, then you can be released from the hotel more likely 5th day pa lang. So, no need na mag-extend maging 6th day. So, yun yung um, talagang benefit. You can be released from quarantine earlier. Just be aware lang din that some hotels will require BOQ certificate for release along with a negative test. So just be aware that, just be aware of that may mga hotels na humihingi din ng BOQ certificate. Meron din mga hotels negative test result lang. So how do you avail for this expedite testing early swab? So upon arrival in the Philippines po on day 1 or day 2 you will receive an email from the toxic care and then where you can prepay po. So, you have the option po na magpay in advance. At you can choose whether you will go with early swab, sorry, early swab test or just the regular COVID-19 testing po. So, upper portion yung early swab. So, if you choose this po, your results will be released within 8 hours. While if you choose the regular testing lang, your results will be released within 24 hours. So, mabis, ma, mas mabilis talaga yung early swap. And the good thing is, it's the same price. It doesn't cost more. 2 5 pa din. But, reminder that it is limited slots, guys. So, once you receive the, the email of expedite testing, no, um, you must book na. And remember that if you want to avail this expedite or early swab, you have to pay in advance online. You can use your credit card to pay po. Kung ayaw nyo mag-pay in advance, then walang choice. Kailangan dun kayo sa regular na testing. Ah. So yun, um, this is all about pabilisan ng kamay. So once you receive the email from the toxic care, day 1 or day 2, boom! Avail na po tayo ng early swab. Ha? Kung if it's manageable for you and if you want your results to be released earlier. If you can manage to be awake 12 a.m., 2 a.m., well, it wouldn't matter. Especially sa mga kababayan natin sa U.S. and Europe kasi normal body clock nila yun, di ba? Jet lag be like, hashtag jet lag. And speaking of jet lag, I'll just mention this. For kababayans, no, jet lag can be a big issue when you arrive in the Philippines because your body is used to opposite time, especially if galing sa US, maybe it's gonna be a good thing if you bring melatonin, but uh, get um, um advice from your doctor, guys, ha? I'm not a doctor. Of course, our bodies are all different. Thing to bring kung gusto nyo makatulog ng maayos if you have problems sleeping and jet lag, ganun. Going back with early testing, like what our kababayans Christine and the Lord did, Christine was swabbed on 2 a.m. on her fifth day because she's fully vaccinated. Lumabas yung result, 7 a.m. So, mga 5 hours lang. And lumabas na kami. So, nakalabas na siya, 5th day pa lang. ba? Okay na okay. Dolor, our kababayan who arrived in November 25, swabbed on 1 a.m. Result released on 7 a.m. So, mga alang hours? 6 hours lang. So, nakalabas siya, same day. So, yun yung advantage. So, again, limited slots po. Pabilisan ang kamay ito. So this is all for today guys. It's a short update. Tomorrow will be the big updates. And um, just complete your requirements when you're traveling soon and stay updated with any changes on Philippine travel. It's best if we can upload all our documents in One Health Pass kasi mas mapapabilis yung process upon arrival at the airport. That includes your vaccination card or certificate if you're fully vaccinated and your negative test result. Okay po, this is all for the update po. Stay safe po tayo and God bless. Bye!